Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lauren, and it's been a little while since I've been on here again. Um, I had a little break from filming completely unintentionally, but I've been meaning to come back on and film for a few weeks now. Um, and tonight, as you can probably see, I've just washed my hair, it's still drying, it's about nine o'clock. Um, and I thought, do you know what, I just really want to film a video. Um, so yeah, here I am, little impromptu unplanned video. Um, so yeah, it's been a little while since I've been on. Um, I had oh, probably about a month of being out of my sewing room, to be quite honest with you. Um, I think I might have mentioned it in my last video, I might not have done. Um, but we were planning on getting the sewing room floor redone. Um, so we had a carpet in here, it was really odd, really tatty, yada yada getting it changed for some hard flooring. Um, so that happened, but it took a little while longer than expected. Um, so I don't know, I was probably out of my room for about a month in total. Um, so yeah, really threw off my sewing. It meant the upstairs of the house was absolute chaos. Um, so I just didn't get any sewing done. And then I fell into a routine of not getting any sewing done. Um, I have dabbled with it again since. Um, you might remember as well, I think I mentioned it on this channel, um, that I had a sausage dog or dachshund uh, foster who had IVDD, um, which is a uh, disease that dachshunds are prone to in their back. It can cause paralysis amongst other issues. Um, so yeah, so I had him for six months in total. Um, so February through to August time. Um, and yeah, then he was rehomed, I'm really glad to say. Um, he finally got himself a little family after that long old period of time with us. I mean, one, not only is it difficult to rehome a disabled dog um, because not everybody is willing to take that on. Um, but also he just couldn't be moved on from our home whilst he was in his sort of main part of his re rehabilitation. We didn't want any setbacks, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's finding that line between them not being in foster too long and not moving them out when they're not ready and they're not well enough to do so. Um, but yeah, he finally found his home and they are perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased to report that one. So what have I been sewing? Um, I've been trying to juggle everything, I won't lie. Um, I also have another YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel, if you don't know that, and it's all about my allotment. Um, the weather has certainly not helped with my allotment this summer. Um, it's been wet, it's been windy, it's been cold, we've had all sorts of issues, so that has taken up some of my time. And I just had a really busy summer, which is quite a nice thing. Um, it's a nice problem to have, but yeah, it has mean, meant that sewing has been very limited. Um, last time I spoke to you, I was doing a cross-stitch design for a friend of mine who was due a baby. Um, she has had the baby and I've gifted her the cross-stitch. Um, I will pop up a picture, but I will blur out the name and obviously the date of birth. Um, but yeah, it's finished and I love it. Now, what else have I been making? So I came across a new YouTube channel, new to me, um, and the name of it is here, uh, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's called The Essentials Club, and yeah, it's essentially a lady on there, I can't think of her name now, please forgive me, um, but she essentially guides you to draft your own sewing patterns. Um, a lot of them are sort of basics um, to get you sort of going, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, they are absolutely fantastic. They are so easy to follow, in my opinion, and I absolutely love them. They've came out great. Um, so I made this top, which again, I will put a link to the YouTube down below. Um, but yeah, so this is a little top it's got an elasticated band around the top and these straps and it's really nice and full and flowy. And let me tell you, this was perfect in summer. It was so co comfortable, really light and breezy and sort of as it just like glides over you. Um, yeah, really nice and cool to wear. It's in this gingham fabric, which I think was from Pound Fabrics. It's got a bit of a stretch to it. So it's not the ideal fabric for this top. Um, in terms of the composition of the fabric, but the pattern was exactly what I wanted, um, being the gingham. 
So yeah, it's gorgeous and I'm pleased to report that I did in fact wear it to the Barbie uh, film, of course. And I also made one for my sister. So there's no size details or anything to share on this because you literally just go on, follow the video, measure yourself and make your own pattern. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend that one. This one is the same again. Um, so another top, it's been a little crinkled um, because I've put my clothes to one side, my summer clothes um, ready to put away in some storage. Um, but yeah, elasticated waist uh, top again. So really nice and comfortable, sort of fits you whenever. Um, straps on it, decent size. Um, and yeah, again, just really light and flowy. This fabric does look like a li Liberty fabric, but it's not. Um, I can't remember where I got it from. I think it was, it definitely would have been online, but I don't think it was pound fabrics. Um, unless actually I might have got it from my local fabric shop saying that, um, but I have since had a look for it online and I can't find it. I've got a feeling that I mentioned it in a previous video um, because I think somebody commented about it to ask if it was Liberty and it's not. Um, but yeah, so apologies if I've shown you those tops before. Now, another make from the Essentials Club and for the same reason, it is crinkly because it's been ready to go in storage, but it's this gorgeous dress um, with these tiers. So that's the bottom of it there. It's sort of knee length on me, um, a little bit lower, but again, you can design it to be whatever length you want it to be because you simply just do bigger tiers or you add more tiers. Um, and I think the original on the video possibly has one more tier, um, but it's in this gingham fabric and this was from Minerva. Um, I ordered this fabric by accident. So I meant to order the yellow version to make my sister a dress and I ordered that back last year for her holiday that she's been on this year. I meant to order the yellow, ordered it in beige, didn't end up making her a dress, I ended up making me one instead. Um, but yeah, so again, it's really nice and loose and free flowing. And let me tell you, this was my favorite dress of the summer. I wanted to be in it all the time. Um, the top tier here, as you will possibly be able to see, is lined but the tiered uh, ones are not lined um, again you could if you wanted to um, line them but I just chose not to and it's fine um, but yeah I had to take it in a little bit at the edge when I finally tried it on but I just did that really easy um, yeah absolutely love it it's gorgeous so that was the essentials club video again which I will link down below so a make that I actually finished today um, was from my good old Tilly and the Button stretch book. I love these books. I go on about them all the time. Um, I made the Freya sweater, which is this one here. Um, now, I think I made that before for my sister, probably going back almost two years ago now. Um, I definitely made her a sweater from this, um, from Tilly and the Button. So I think it was the Freya as opposed to the Frankie baseball tee, which was the other one I was thinking, but I don't think it was that. I think it definitely was the Freya. So I'd made it before. The construction is so easy. I can't even tell you. If you haven't made it, make it. It's so good. Um, but yeah, so I made it in a Tilly and the Button size four, um, which is a bust 91.5 centimeters or 36 inches waist 30 inches and hip 39 inches. Um, the finished garment measurements are smaller than that because it has some negative ease because it's designed to be made in stretch. Um, so let's have a look at the one that I made. Again, I think this was either, I think it was my local fabric shop that I got this fabric from. So it's this lilac stretchy ribbed fabric. Um, and it is super drapey, as you can see, um, really, really drapey, which I won't lie, did make it quite relatively difficult to sew with because it stretches so much um, and it's really heavy or it's really drapey. So when you've got it on the machine, you had to make sure that all of the fabric was on the table, otherwise it would really pull down. Um, now, I do think I needed to change my differential feed because... I don't know if you're, yeah, you can see it there. My um, seams are a little bit wavy um, and I think that's because it's pushing it out of the back of the overlocker quicker than it's pulling it in. Um, and I think if they're 
seams are gathered when you're putting it through it means it's pushing it through the front quicker than it's pushing it out the back so I needed to change my differential feed but I didn't really notice it at the time to be quite honest with you um the neckline was okay um in terms of rippling there really isn't any so it is just sort of those shoulder seams that or these arm seams that I need to work on really um, the end of them, I didn't follow the instructions on Tilly, so I'm not actually too sure what it tells you to do with the end of the sleeves, but I essentially folded mine in and then just overlocked around there with no cutting knife on it. Um, so it's just created that little cuff. Yeah, neckline is lovely and I purposely did it that way rather than down, um, partly because where this fabric does stretch so much, I didn't want it to have too much stretch in it is if it would if the lines were going down um so i did them around just to give it a little bit more stability um which i think it has done the trick now uh at the bottom obviously this isn't part of tilly's uh instructions either but i just left it with a raw edge and there's a couple of reasons for that one being with this kind of fabric it doesn't tend to fray um so i'm not going to have an issue with it fraying but also with this sort of jumper, I would definitely tuck it into a pair of jeans um, or a pair of trousers just as personal preference. Um, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to be super lazy and I'm not even going to bother finishing that bottom hem because no one's ever going to see it. Um, I did put a little label on the inside just so I knew where the back of it was, even though I have got the seam down the back, um, but just to make it a little bit easier. And that one is You Deserve to Dream and it was by Little Rosy Cheeks. I think we got it. I think we got these ones with a So Holy Jane box, possibly. Um, again, probably a couple of years ago now. Um, but yeah, this fabric, I think this was from a local fabric store as well. Um, but it's just this ribbed, lightweight uh, stretch fabric. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I think that's pretty much everything that I've made really I've dabbled with other things um I made you know I've made little bits and pieces um which if I remembered I would have told you along the way or made a list of because that's a sensible thing to do um but I've made a little pouch to put on my dog's uh harness so that when we're out running um he can carry his own weight um in a little poop bag um, yeah, so it's just little things like that really that I've been making. Um, nothing too exciting, um, but hoping to pick that back up now, especially because it's winter. I do tend to peak and trough with my sort of sewing activities. The allotment will definitely be a lot quieter over winter, although I will do some bits. So I will log my allotment YouTube in the description below as well if you are interested in having a look at that one. It's a lot of complaining by me about I don't know what I'm doing essentially it's tough work having a lot of them um but yeah now that we've got a sort of winter come in the nights are getting darker earlier and we're doing more staying at home basically I tend to do more sewing um, but yeah thank you very much for watching thanks for sticking around pretty much everybody has I think which is quite nice um but yeah I will catch you in the next one thanks bye bye